All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Uh, sitting over here in the Freedom Office. And uh, I haven't done a video in the wake of anything that happened last week because I am absolutely heartbroken and disgusted. Uh, once again, here we go. We got a madman who utilizes uh, one of the most popular firearms in the country to perform a heinous act. And there's a special place in hell for this individual. And it just amazes me that... Uh, when somebody who has this many problems, this many issues, that it has uh, escaped those around them to uh, maybe decide that these these people need to be taken out before they get started. Just me saying that. Uh, but in the wake of that, a lot of politicians have uh, jumped on the bandwagon to do what they do best. But uh, before we do that, I just want to talk real quickly about this weekend. Uh, went to the coca-cola 600 it was a fantastic race had some friends come in from out of town i just want to say hi to a couple of the guys that i met out there uh one of the gentlemen he pointed at me because you're on youtube and i was like yeah. i had about two or three people do that it was really cool and it means a lot to me that uh, these folks take the time to uh, introduce themselves the uh, 600 uh yeah i'm planning on going back every year now uh just because they do a a great deal to recognize uh our veterans uh, our active soldiers, uh, those who have fallen. And uh, on several occasions, man, I was tearing up, uh, especially the National Anthem, the Lord's Prayer, those kind of things. Huge flyover with the C-17, man. That was just, that was impressive. And then my beloved 82nd Airborne Division did a little uh, air assault uh, on there. I was, I was laughing when I was telling the guys, I said they were coming in real slow with that Blackhawk. And I was like, man, I don't remember us coming in slow like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, but long story short, let's get back to this thing. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because I heard on the news this morning Justin Trudeau, and I know we're not from Canada, but I'll be honest with you, Canadian uh, gun control laws are basically a wet dream for Democrats here. And uh, not only are they doing a mandatory buyback, but they're going to extend the the, uh, the period so that people can, you know, uh, think about how many how they're going to hand in their guns and things like that. So as, what is a buyback? A buyback is uh, the government confiscating your firearms uh, and giving you a few dollars for your freedom. It's disgusting. This guy's uh, approval ratings are in the tank just like Joe Biden's, but Justin Trudeau introduces strict gun control on handguns in Canada. It wasn't enough that he was taking all the long guns and anything else out there. And the sick part about it that I heard on the news, they were like, well, they're way ahead of us on gun control. Well, I didn't know we were in a race with them on gun control. So in any case, let's talk about this uh, Canadian Prime Minister. And this comes from Axios. OK, I'm reading it right there. I'll put the link down below. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau wants to freeze the sale, importation and transfer of handguns in Canada. He told reporters today, the big picture, this isn't a full ban, Ooh, but it will significantly restrict the number of handguns in circulation. It's the, again, the government getting involved in your business to restrict your access to your own property. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. Uh, other than using firearms for sport shooting and hunting, there is no reason anyone in Canada should need guns in their everyday lives. Now, I believe that uh, Mr. Biden is basically saying the same thing. There's no reason why you need this or why do you have to have this. Deer don't wear a flag vest or bulletproof vest. Uh, Chuck Schumer already trying to enact a gun law or laws to prevent us from being able to buy body armor because only the government could should be able to kill you. <laughs> Between the lines, Canada has stricter gun laws than the U.S. and it does not guarantee a constitutional right, constitutional right to bear arms. You damn right they don't. New rules were proposed in Canada's Parliament today that include the CBC limits on sizes of magazines. I'm glad they said magazines because usually they're like, you know, the clipazines. <laughs> Harsher criminal penalties for trafficking guns. A red flag gun control law stripping firearm licenses from people involved in domestic violence. So anyway, uh, Trudeau introduced the rules banning AR-15 and other semi-automatic rifles in 2020. No, he introduced and signed into law unilaterally without any input by anybody else that the firearm that you hold precious to you, you're not entitled to or entitled to, or deserving of, or need, or any other thing. Uh, it, it's absolutely disgusting. Oh, right, in March 2020, Canada said it would add another year of amnesty. That's what we were talking about, period, while officials set up mandatory buyback programs. Disgusting. A wet dream for Democrats, if you will. And rightfully so. These guys have been giving the ammo 
to go ahead and move forward with these bans based on the things that are happening. Just this morning, they, they arrested a child or a kid who took a picture of himself. And uh, I guess the hashtag was, uh, you know, something about Siri, show me directions. <sighs> People are sick and it's disgusting. And slowly but surely, if this continues, our rights will be diminished because people, those politicians, they are falling on their face. And including this guy right here. Hold on, I'll tell you. Uh, Adam Kissinger. Kissinger is open to the AR-15 ban. He's a Republican in Illinois. Absolutely sick. Okay, so we're going to follow up this video with this uh, just real quickly. This is the Lee... Breach Lock Challenger Press. Okay, this is a really cool deal. This is how I got my start in reloading. We're going to do a giveaway with this guy. It's sponsored and sent to the channel by the guys over there at Optics Planet. Appreciate it. That's It's really cool. It's one of the best ways to start your reloading. You may have to start it sooner than you thought. It's KB32. I'll come out with the rules and regulations on a giveaway probably sometime this week. But I just had to do this. This is, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. And I tear it up because those children... We're innocent little babies and this guy was an evil devil and like I said man there's a special place in hell for him and uh, unfortunately things like this happen but it's not your fault it's not mine it's KB32 if you like the video please give it a thumbs up let me know what your thoughts are down below well I was in them like this support the red white and blue God bless America God bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms freedom is not free I'm KB32 I am out of here y'all be good boom